Tom, I imagine that's a bit of a humbling afternoon for the team. How are you feeling? I imagine there's some pretty down faces in that dressing room. Yeah, everyone's uh, everyone's good. Um, it was a really, really tough afternoon, um, really frustrating one. And uh, there's not not a lot more that can be said on it. Um, yeah, it's a tough afternoon. And it's obviously not the way that we'd have liked to have gone into the, into the international break in a two-week time to recuperate. But this can only serve as motivation to make sure we don't feel this way we do this afternoon again, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, one of the one of the first things that the manager said was to hold on to this feeling because uh, two weeks is a long time, and I think that's that's uh, that's something that I'll definitely be doing, um, and I know that the boys will do it will be doing because we want that taste of success again. Um, we had a lot of it at the start of last season, and we need to we need to really rediscover that. Um, the championships, uh, it's all about momentum, and when it's going well, the, the congestion of fixtures is a good thing. But when it's not, it's, can, it's the flip side. It's you can hit a sort of bad run of form. Um, so the, for us, the international breaks come at a perfect time. Um, we can regroup. Um, there was boys like Alan on the bench today was his first uh, only signed yesterday so we're, we're still regrouping um, and yeah it's, it's come I think the international breaks come at a perfect time for us um, because it's given up it's, it's time to work and as, wherever the players are whether it's they're away you know representing the country or it's the ones back home it's going to be a really key period and as you said Pauno's managed to bring in four players so far it will give them extra time to bed in and the squad will get more balance from that won't it yeah, definitely. Um, as I said, we're still putting pieces together. Um, we were unfortunate with a couple of injuries, a few injuries actually this, uh, this preseason um, and start of the season. So it's uh, it's good to regroup now in the, in the uh, international break and good luck to everyone going away. But um, after these few days off, it's, I think it's we need to just work harder. It's, it's all you can do really. Um, reflect on this but at the same time put it to the back of our minds and uh, and really yeah regroup and uh, hit the yeah but see these two weeks as working weeks and after a you know disrupted pre-season and then a really tough August you'll be you know it'll be, you'll be extra motivated to have a really successful September and that all starts from now onwards doesn't it yeah it's uh, we're only five five games in and so there's over 40 games left um, so it's it's a long season and uh it's amazing that what what a good couple of uh, results can do and how how uh, form can turn around. Um, it's something that Reading fans and I know that in years gone by, that's something we've been known for is runs of form. So uh, hopefully we can flip it on its head and we can really get some good results going. And you briefly mentioned the fans. Just lastly, you obviously were really quick to go over and acknowledge them. You know, you, I imagine you felt it was really important to make note of their support and the fact that they've been with us this afternoon on a you know tricky one for them to watch as well as you to be involved in yeah this is in my opinion um, in the few games I've had in front of fans when when you're getting the support and they really are the 12th man it you, they can see it for the ones that travel today and they could see how the fans their home fans could give them that extra bit of energy um, kind of blow the ball into the net at times um, that's that's what they can do and that's what they can bring and I know that's what Reading fans can can do and uh, I know it's a tough time but this is when it's uh, it's a real test for everyone at the club um, and yeah we, we we want their full backing um, and we hope that we can give them something to something to cheer about soon.